phone has it. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 yeah, I just want to give it up. It's, you have to speak up because it's quite difficult to hear you. Um, thank you. Uh, my name is Diane Coates. Um, um, I, I believe you're waiting uh, for an SLCC ruling on the um, three councillors that have not attended for the six month period, which they uh, have to do. And um, the statement for Alka Nauk is no, the law is very clear on this one. Consideration of an extended absence past six months must be considered by the councillor and agreed before the six months have elapsed. Once the six months have elapsed, the disqualification is automatic. And unfortunately, for the councillors concerned, they, um, they should not take part in any meeting. They should not call themselves a councillor. And um, they're, they're not, well, they can attend as a resident, the same as we are. But they cannot attend or take part in any council business. I can go through a lot more if you wish, because we've been to the monitoring officer as well. And the monitoring officer has um, said very much the same thing. Uh, as members of ALCA, the town council knew the regulations of their own standing orders, which are checked. And the council, uh, sorry, and government legislation under section 85, the Local Government Act 1972, failure to attend town council meetings in person for more than six months without an approved dispensation before the expiry of the six months leads to automatic expulsion. They will have been deemed to have vacated their office as, office as a councillor, resulting in a casual vacancy. There is no ability to apply for dispensation re retrospectively. COVID-19 is no excuse. The government made flexible changes during the pandemic, <coughs> excuse me, uh, which expired on 7th of May 2021, from which date all local authorities were required to hold any formal decision-making council body meetings in a physical location. Virtual meetings were no longer legal for this purpose. Clear dates were given by the government regarding vaccinations and risks with everyone being able to attend safely physical meetings by mid-August 2021. The three Portishead Town Independent Political Party Town Councillors who have lost their seats due to failure to obtain dispensations are Mrs Tina Mason, Mrs Polly Shepherdson and Miss Caroline Gargard. They cannot represent public as councillors, they cannot use the title councillor and they cannot vote on any town council issues. Whilst the chairman states the council is seeking legal advice, it is not from the NSC monitoring officer, Nick Brain, who has advised the town council, the legislation is clear and he cannot advise the council. It is now illegal for the above named to attend council meetings unless as a resident. To constantly defer the issue as the town council chairman wants to do is despicable and shows a blatant disregard for legislation and the public. Not to mention a waste of public money paying for independent legal advice. Thank you.